Hey guys, my name is Avinash Kumar. In this video, we will talk about uh, the two services uh, of the Cloudflare. One is the Worker AI and the other one is the Gateway AI. So in short, these services actually provides you to access uh, these large language models. Um, we will go through and discuss uh, like how things works over there. I have provided the timestamp if you just directly wanted to jump over uh, that demo, uh, feel free to go. To go. Uh, in the last video, we discussed about the um, the large language models running locally uh, when i say locally so which means that if anything or if the application gets crashed you would be the one who will provide the fault tolerance mechanisms as well now one thing is like running these models um, locally uh, when i say locally obviously you guys are now know the definition um, it has its own pros and cons which means that uh, yes you are secure you are run running things um, in your um, in your cloud provider, uh, you have access towards the uncensored models as well. But there are some disadvantages as well, like, you know, um, running those models not only requires you to, you know, uh, horizontally scale your servers, that's obviously given if you have heavy workload coming from the users, but you also need, you know, vertically scaled machines as well. Um, and this is where, you know, like you decide like which direction you want it to go. Um, so if you are not really, really concerned about, you know, your data already on the internet, most of the time your data is, uh, you know, you have already provided your data to some managed service. Like if you are using AWS, you use their RTS service or uh, you use MongoDB Atlas cloud environment, I mean, cloud managed service as well. So you are already providing your core data to these companies, right? And we trust that, you know, uh, they, they don't share and things like that. So like that, but in this video, we will just talk about the, the two products which they have launched related to the artificial intelligence. One is the worker AI and the other one is the gateway AI. So in the worker AI, uh, they actually host those uh, large language models like Llama 2. They have, you know, models in different categories, like some of them are in the text embeddings versus text classification, text, text trans translation and things like that. And there is another model and uh, not the model, but the product, which is like the gateway AI. So let's jump into those services. One thing to mention, these Cloudflare services are completely free. So as long as you have the Cloudflare free account, you are good to go. So all we need to do is we need to come up here into the AI tab. And as you can see, this is currently still in the beta version. So which means that it's not recommended to go in prod as well. So if you come up into the workers AI, um, over here, you will see all these models which you can utilize. So as I mentioned, you know, they offer these models in different categories. Some of them are in text embeddings, text generation, classification, translation, and they have quite, you know, like um, well-known models as well. So let's get started. So all we need to do is use the REST API and they have provide clear cut guidelines like what we should do. All we need to do is we need to create an API token, uh, which we can create from here. Um, here we create a token we need to select this worker ai beta use this template and then include all accounts read and everything you need to set up some ttl as well um uh, for the sake of privacy uh, you don't want your services to be accessed from let's say some other ip address you just wanted to limit your service from a specific ip address then you can provide your ip address here as well so I'll go, I'll not select anything. Um, so once you go to the continue summary, create the token, you are good to go. Now, as soon as this token is created, you can verify this by copying this request over here. And you can simply import in the Postman. I mean, you can simply run this curl as well in your terminal, but I like Postman. So just using that. And as soon as you send this request, it is good enough. Let's say I just modified this token and then it will say invalid API token, right? So it is good enough to use that token. I will save this request. Um, so now coming back here, now 
since we have the token already, all we need to do is update this API token with the token which we have created. And here, if you see in the URL, how we are how we are telling you know uh, worker AI which model to use is via this URL. So here we are saying this we wanted to use Meta's Llama two seven billion chat int eight. Now int eight is nothing but I don't want to go into the detail, but you know just to, just to, just a little rec recap. Int eight defines the precision. You might see you know FP sixteen or FP thirty two, but int eight is like you know half precision which means um, the more this number is, the more precise answers it would be. Like in case of, uh, you know, FP16, which is a full precision, it means like, you know, in machine learning, everything is like a number, right? It's all about the number game. Anything, a string which you provide under the hood, you know, there are some scores which are computed. There are some algorithms which are running. And when it comes to numbers, it, it comes to precision, right? So, which means that um, after decimal, how many digits you want it to, you know, use or how many, you know, things you want it to just round off. So, um, so the higher the precision means the, the heavier the model, better the performance requires more CPU or maybe the GPUs to run that model. The lower the model, which means that, you know, it will just round off things, right? So without further ado, just copy this and again import this here two things we need to change is one thing is to just remove this from this raw and just beautify a little bit here and there as soon as we send the request we will get the authentication error why is that because we need to update this api token and we have already the api token over here so we just need to copy from here and put it here now we can just save this request and we are good to go now see how quickly it respond to our question so so in this particular uh, request what we are saying is that you know hey you are a system uh, who is just telling you know um, friendly stories who is assisting you know users with the stories and also and here we are giving the users prompt so if you just think about a chat app so this is how we need, if you are using this model, um, then this is the request payload you need to send. And in this particular variable, you can send the query, which is given by your user. And this will be the response. Again, I haven't checked the streams and all, but you know, it's just, just one go, you just get this clear cut uh, results. So that is it now. As a developer or, you know, as a, as an engineer, you wanted to know, like, you know, the visibility, like how many requests per second or per minute you have got from the user, sorry. So this is where the API, I mean, AI gateway comes in. So at first, when you open this particular tab, you might get confused, like what things it offers and things like that. You know, they have really good documentation as well, like what things it can do it for you. Um, so it does all those things which you wanted to build on top of your um, chat app. Like let's say, um, uh, you wanted to enable caching or you wanted to rate limiting. So this is where AI gateway comes into the picture. It is not just limited to that. It is also telling you that if you are using any other API, let's say you are using open API for the prompts, you can analyze those and you, it provides you the visibility related to that as well it will compute these tokens and cost as well so this currently this cost is only specific for the open ai so how does this work you know let's let's get started so you need to provide the gateway name so you can have multiple gateways you can have you know a single gateway as well so let's say we are providing uh, youtube demo demo gateway right and here as soon as you created one, now what you need to do is you just need to access it, right? So here it has these four things. One is obviously the real-time logs are enabled, which means like currently obviously the prompt which I provided, 
it's you cannot see anywhere you don't have a visibility right with this gateway it will record all those um, you know prompts provided by the user or come came into your http request you can enable caching as well so if the user is asking the same query so let's say if i'm asking the same query again and again you know it will generate a different response and all but if you wanted to limit your user that, hey, if you ask the same question again, you just will get the same response, you know, until the certain period of the time. So you can handle that thing here. So if you wanted to make that response available up till a day, so within that one day, you will, if the same query is asked, you will get the same response. Similarly, you can enable the rate limiting as well, like 50 requests per minute. Otherwise, you know, it will just block that IP address. You just enable those and yeah, currently we don't have any real time logs, right? Because we are directly interacting with the worker AI, not with the, um, through the gateway. So how to do that is by using their API. So I have these two gateways. I will use this one for this tutorial. All you need to do is come here and open up this. It will open up this dialogue for you. Now there is one universal endpoint. In this universal endpoint, they covers like OpenAI, the provider is OpenAI or, you know, Azure OpenAI, because, you know, all these companies has uh, the different, um, has their own versions of these uh, models and all. Hugging face, you can access as well. But for now, we will just use the worker AI. This is the product provided by the Cloudflare itself, right? So the authorization token, which you will use here, it would be the same, the one which we have generated. In case of the, let's say you wanted to go with the open AI. Here in this particular header, you it will not gonna work. I'll, I'll show you uh, in a second, like what errors it will give and all. So since we are using the worker AI, all we need to do is, copy this URL or the, the, the request which we have created here, just update this URL with the gateway URL, that is it. So all that, that's what, you know, it's better to do. What we will do is just copy this URL up till the worker AI. We will copy that URL and then just update and remove this URL from the HTTPS towards this AI slash run. So worker AI is now saved. And then once we will send, everything is same. It's just this request is going through the gateway now. Now, what is the benefit? Um, since we have enabled the cache, we should get the same response very quickly. There is, it's not sending this, you know, request again to those models. So if you see the time, it's like 58 milliseconds. Uh, if I, if I just updated the URL to the, using the API, I mean the worker AI directly, you will see, you know, how much time it is taking. It's like four, like it's in, you know, few hundreds of milliseconds, right? But when it hits the cache is like few milliseconds, right? So yeah, uh, that is the other thing is the visibility. Now here, if you see the real time logs, um, if I just refresh this page, um, yeah. So here I see, you can see like, you know, what request it served through the cache and what request and the response is returned by your AI worker, right? So this is, this is really amazing, right? Um, you can change different models, whatever the models they are offering here. Uh, you can just update the URL and you are good to go. Um, they have some models related to the image uh, classification or, you know, voice to uh, text as well. So we can use all such things. Now, the another thing here, if we come, um, let's say I wanted to use the open AI, uh, because they have all these providers like Azure, you can use, you can use Badrock from Amazon. Let's say if you are, you know, like a big fan of open AI, um, you can simply come up here. I, what I'll do is I'll create, I'll just copy this entire request and I will just import it in the postman. Again, same thing this time if you have this body, and let's say, you know, here we have defined that, hey, we wanted to use ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo. We will get this incorrect API key. Why? Obviously, you might say that, hey, you have this XXX. But even if I provide this um, 
this up the same api token here it will not gonna work the reason being it's in the message if you see it's an a incorrect api key you need to get it from the open ai like you know the account which you have over there you just need to get that key and put it here the good thing would be once you do that you will have these visibilities here like you know what models you used what response it suggests and you know uh, like you can enable cache and things like that um one issue which i was talking about which i found in this beta version is related to the token so if we go towards the tokens and let's say if you added this token and you wanted to make sure that this token is only utilized for a specific um, ip address and if you provide the ip address here it will work fine if you are directly using you know the worker ai without the gateway but if you are using the gateway uh, dns then in that case it will not work and this is the issue they need to fix if anyone from the cloud player is listening uh, can you fix this issue there I, I can assume I can you know tell why it's not working maybe you know I, I can be wrong but the, like if we think about the gateway uh, obviously it is the one you know sending request to the uh, worker AI right uh, we are not sending the worker AI request directly it's the gateway so I think it's taking the gateways IP address so if you just limit the specific IP address let's say to one two three which is your own IP address in case of the gateway gateway is the client and the server is the worker ai so it's taking the gateway's ip address which could be you know some cloudflare ip address and it's not you know giving respect to your ip address so that's the one single issue but if you have the tokens which are publicly you know accessible um from any ip address then you know it's good to go so that's all from today 